The month was August when we set off to explore the ruins of ancient Olympia. Built almost 2,500 years ago and home of the first Olympic Games, we got to walk in the remnants of our ancestors, see the temples they built, the stadiums, most of them collapsed, but still there. A loud reminder of an ancient civilization saying, we were here and this is what mattered most to us. Why else would they carve marble and stone by hand? Why else would they melt steel into sculptures and make art out of gold if they didn't want it to last? What they left behind taught us who these ancient Greeks were. They worshipped gods, they competed in sports to honor them, naked. And the only woman allowed to observe the games was the priestess of Demeter, Kamini. All other women that broke that law were punished by death. Truce was called among all Greek states during the commencement of the Olympics. There was good, bad, weird, and ugly in the way that they lived, but what they left for us to find has only been beautiful. As I walked through ancient Olympia, I couldn't help but wonder, what are we leaving behind now? If humans are still around in one or two thousand years from now, what will they find? What story are we telling? What truly matters enough for us to make it last that long. I had to find out. Our next quest was only to be reached through crossing the sea to visit the neighboring island Zakynthos. We hopped on a pirate ship, yes you heard that correctly, with our destination being Navajo Beach. First making stops on our journey to dive in coves and swim in sulfur caves. The experience felt surreally pirate-like. The tourist passengers even looked and acted the part. Dressed like vagabonds, outlaws, or ladies of the night, smoking cigarettes with tacky tattoos and too many missing teeth. And as we sailed towards Navajo Beach, the pirate ship started blasting Celine Dion's My Heart Will Go On. Tourists at the shore started taking photos of us instead of the wreck. We were officially the most obnoxious boat at that beach. The wreck, barely noticeable in a sea of tourists holding selfie sticks, was once a cargo vessel smuggling alcohol and cigarettes into Zakynthos. It was abandoned at the beach after being chased by the Greek Navy in 1980. All that remains now is a pile of rust with the names of tourists and couples graffitied on its carcass. Perhaps not as charming as the Pinterest photos lead on, but once you photoshop the crowd out of the picture, you're left with a beautiful sight. White sand, towering cliffs, and sparkling blue water all made a little more special by a ship, beached right in the middle of it all, like a rusty diamond. People travel across the world to visit this site, to see the beautiful accident we left behind. We visited the past and the present, but I had yet to uncover the future. What are we leaving behind for them? It turns out we didn't have to travel that far to uncover this mystery. A quick drive to a nearby beach would reveal the answers I was looking for. Between footsteps in the sand, beach lilies, ferns and seashells, I started to see our message to the future. Some say the future is uncertain. Some say it's already set in stone. I'd say it's set in plastic. Cigarette filters taking 18 months to 10 years to degrade. Children, not yet born, will be playing in the sand in 2025 to bear witness to the story of our addictions and our bad habits. Perhaps even, the person that left that butt behind might be gone even before what killed them got to disappear. A plastic wrapper, possibly the former home of some pastry, taking 10 to 1,000 years to decompose. It could be the year 2,500 and pieces of it could still be floating around the Mediterranean. A sugary soda drink, taking 450 to 1,000 years to biodegrade. Perhaps someone from the next millennium might find this. Perhaps it will be hard to notice if the entire beach is covered in plastic bottles, remnants of our sugary drink obsession. What we've left behind tells the story of us, a story of quick fixes. Our gods are food and drinks. Our sports is smoking. Our accidents are floating in the water forever.